everybody, what is going on? It's Kujo Fools and we are back on Ark Survival Evolved in our Primitive Plus series on PlayStation. So, as you guys can tell, we're probably going to move back to the island base that we have started out over there. And, um, I'm going to attempt to move all of these dinos all at once. So, as you guys can tell, over to the right we also have a new dino, a male mammoth that I figured Lady Blue would like as a boyfriend. And then behind us, I tamed another mammoth, and then I also tamed an Argentavis and a Dimorphodon that'll help protect our base while we're away. So, anyway, we're gonna go ahead and get started. Hopefully nobody falls off. I did build walls on the back part of the boat, so hopefully hopefully nobody falls off and takes a little bit of a dip. Um, if they do, I can just pick them up with my RG and get them back on the boat, hopefully. So, anyway, we're gonna go ahead and get back to the, um, the island base. Um, so, in our last video, we tamed um, the uh, mammoth over here, Lady Blue, and then we also tamed the Sarko and a snail. Yeah, there, there he is, right there behind that wolf. And we also tamed... Yeah, we tamed the Dimorphodon that's on my shoulder. And then we also tamed another one that's somewhere here on the boat. Yeah, he's under Lady Blue over there. And then we tamed a new, another one for the base. So, um, anyway, let's go ahead and get started with moving everybody back. So, uh, yeah, I think, I, I hope everybody stays on throughout this move. Um, I did cram a whole bunch of dinos on here all at once, so I'm really praying that nothing falls off the boat and yeah so what we're gonna do is we're just gonna go ahead and start heading back and I'll be back when we get home oh Whew. it's just Sarko attacking the boat I don't know where it went. Okay, we're gonna move Lady Blue real quick. Okay. This is gonna be a problem. Ugh! This is a mess. What a dick. That was close. Okay, well, we killed that one. I think we're okay. Uh, nobody got really hurt. Except Lady Blue. Yeah, she lost about 300 health from that Sarko. I'm gonna bump up that melee damage. Alright. Um, I don't think there's any other Sarkos in the area, but it was just that one. Alright. I think everybody else is okay. We're gonna go ahead and try to move. Come on. Loretta. Uh, she's clipped in the air now. Alright, we're gonna try this. Yeah, alright, we should be good. Alright. There is another Sark over here from what I remember, so hopefully it doesn't try to attack us. While we're trying to go. Everybody's still on the boat from the looks of it, so we're good. For some reason, we're moving sideways. I don't know why. Okay, so, took care of that Sarko, we should be alright for now. 
Um, I'm gonna go ahead and try to get these guys home, and we'll be back when we make it safely. Alright, you guys, so we made it back home safe and sound, and as you can tell, the kibble farm up there has expanded, and it's now just, um, a whole bunch of storage for dinos as well. So, we'll go ahead and I'll show you guys what's going on up there. Uh, we'll need Loretta to fly up there. So, we didn't have any other altercations, um, trying to get back. Uh, no more psycho attacks or anything like that, so it was a pretty easygoing trip. As you can tell, there's a bunch of dinos on there, so I had to pause every now and then just to make sure that they weren't glitched through the, uh, ceilings and fall into the ocean. So, anyway, um, as you guys can tell, I have over-raptors everywhere, and these are for the dinos that I plan on putting up here, things like, a uh, stegosauruses and parasaurs and stuff like that so it's more for like reptiles that lay eggs I'm I may put some mammals up here but it's mostly just for storage not for kibble because you know they can't lay eggs so it shouldn't be a thing to worry too much about so yeah anyway I'll show you guys all the new things that have happened down here so I had mentioned in a couple uh, videos earlier that I had tamed up some RGs so I tamed up two females and a male in my free time. I want to say it was probably about two weeks ago now, and they've been staying over here, keeping a close guard on everything. So, um, there are my moss chops, uh, my diplos, and then my frogs are over there. Here's all my stegos for right now. Well, just one stego and then my two trikes. I plan on moving them up there along with the anklo. I did tame a beaver, and I also tamed a little monkey in here. And then I did build a dodo coop, and I'll probably put my penguins and my uh, snail in here as well. And then I will show you guys the workshop. So it's made now of completely of adobe and uh, windows, so it's the lumber window panes. And it actually looked really nice in here. Um, the only problem I'd say is the door frames. You can't walk out them. You have to duck down in order to get out. And not much has changed up here either, but I did put the ceilings in so now we can see really easily in here throughout the day. So yeah, it looks really nice in here. And Dan, I'll show you guys the farm. And um, so I replaced everything with glass, the bottom level with glass, and then everything else is lumber. So it looks really cool. I really like it. So. Anyway, this is what it looks like on the outside, and then in the inside is completely like swarmed with crops right now. Uh, we decided to put in some sugar cane, and I think, what's this? Yeah, just, yeah, we just put in some sugar cane. We'll probably put something in here at some point in time, um, but yeah, um, we will have to expand this so that way we can add more crops. So yeah, that's a thing, and then I'll show you guys upstairs. Um, I did build an extra foundation here. I plan on putting a beer barrel here so that way we can make some beer and go chain, tame up a chalicotherium and do some other fun stuff. Here are all the pigs supplying me constantly with poo, so we're good to go on poo for a while. And I think that's about... Oh, I'll show you guys my new raft. So this is the um, taming pin raft where the rafts got a tim and pin above and then this one is all glass panes and um, this right here is like a taming pin that I'll eventually use this is more for like a, just one or two dinos at a time not a whole bunch of them all at once so yeah um, I'm going to organize all of these guys um, but I also want to show you guys something else so the reason we brought all of these guys over here by raft today was because of a new dino that was released in patch 256 for PC that will eventually be coming to consoles. It's a giant fish called Elithsichthys, I think that's how you pronounce it, and they attack rafts. They're normally docile creatures, but they hate rafts for some reason and will destroy them, so I'm going to have to figure out another alternative for transportation of all my dinos, but I got to thinking about it and I was like, you know, It'd be pretty stupid to just constantly move all my dinos over here and then have nowhere else to go with them because, you know, we'll have to constantly worry about getting attacked while on a raft. So I was thinking of somewhere over here building an outpost so that way I can have a safe place 
um, afterwards, meaning like after the uh, after the re the update is released. And so I'm thinking of building an outpost somewhere around here. I want to say it's like over that way where it's nice and flat. And um, that will probably be where we move all of our like bigger dinos that can't fit on rafts, maybe like some mammoths, uh, the T-Rexes, some Branos. So we'll be doing a lot of taming on the regular island instead of on Herbivore Island. And we'll just move them by uh, by land instead of using a raft so that will be definitely my next video is building the outpost and it pl I plan on it being a fairly large building to a, probably a really large base so I'll have to figure out something find some flat land and go from there but yeah um, so I don't know uh, how I'm going to build it so it's probably going to be mostly wood just like this base over here and then some wooden spikes around the outskirts of it so that'll probably be in my next video and then um, what else um, we'll probably in the future we'll probably go into a cave and get some dung beetles have them wandering around in this farm over here so that way the crops are constantly fertilized while I'm away um, but I honestly think that's probably going to be it for this video. I know it wasn't like super productive or super busy, but I wanted to update you guys on everything that's been going on. I wanted to make sure you guys knew exactly what I've been doing and how the dinos got back to the base and everything like that. I know you would have figured by raft, but you know, it's kind of just a thing that I have to do for you guys. So that way you guys know what's going on and everything. Um, so in our next video, we're going to figure out exactly where we're going to be putting the outpost on the regular island, not herbivore island, so that way we have a place for all of our safe and or a safe place for all of our larger dinos. And then we're also probably going to go into the caves and start cave dwelling and stuff like that. <laughs> probably start checking out those things, going after insects and stuff. Um, I did bring all of my materials from the winter cottage base back so we'll be building some some big structures and putting them here um i want to say like a windmill and like i want to say it was the oil tank that i wanted to build so yeah we'll be doing that as well so anyway guys that's going to be it for this video if you have any questions just let me know and i'll get back to you on those and i want to thank you guys for watching and i'll see you all in the next video bye